requirements for Master of Sciences, Doctor of Medicine, and Doctor of Philosophy. By the authority vested in me by the faculty and trust of sciences, please stand.
I'm leaning on the everlasting arms If I can see it Then I can do it If I just believe it There's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky Sometimes silence can seem so loud There are miracles in life I must achieve But first I know that it starts with me Just believe it. There's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. Sisters and brothers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, and of course a special mention to fathers on this Father's Day. This is the graduation ceremony of the members of your Gene Pool, our outstanding class of 2003. And of course, welcome to all of you, the graduates. Most of you know by now that human biology was invented here at Stanford just over 30 years ago by faculty members who wanted to give undergraduates an integrated view of an increasingly complex world. These founders went on to do great things. One won a Nobel Prize, two became university presidents, others now head foundations and occupy other positions of leadership in academia and government. They created a program that attracts the very best Corcoros course and learned so much so quickly you wonder if you'd survive. From lactose intolerance, uh, to fetal alcohol syndrome, the action potential, policy challenges of cloning or water's, water distribution rights. Then with your declaration as a major, you framed a path through Stanford to bring to life your special interests. Followed your... If you get it, you get it. So this is going to be an important milestone. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
questions our committee members skim the page, they'll ask, who is this person? As human biology majors in Stanford University's class of 2003, we have something in common. Each resume we create, revise, and adjust will document that we are Stanford HumBio graduates. That fact alone will distinguish us. But added interest will be generated of our unorthodox class choices and our very unique courses of study. Um, but one line on the CV can't even convey the meaning of our Stanford HumBio. Any 9 a.m. appointment throughout sophomore year, we were instructed by thought leaders in the biological and behavioral sciences. We were taught to make connections, connections that cross departmental boundaries. Dr. Bob taught us about DNA, RNA, and virology, and he always instructed us to take care of our viral infection every time someone in class sneezed. Professor Klein described our early hominid brethren, and Dr. Sapolsky taught us about adolescent pranks and behavior in baboons. Um, and he came in, taught us about ancient civilizations, and he taught us to make stone tools. And we learned to respect guidelines for online medical consulting, strategies for containing hoof and mouth disease, and ways to make HIV treatment available to underprivileged individuals in Africa. We, a group of Stanford undergraduates, confronted the challenges that face today's society. Most of us distinctly remember that one memory that we found truly fascinating the one we thought would help us understand the world better. There was that one lecturer who visited in office hours and eventually asked to be our advisor. With that advice... Stanford University has served a generation of discoveries and worked within the labs of extraordinary practitioners. And we have witnessed a social and technological transformation of great magnitude since we first heard President Casper speak to us here in the quad back in 1999. At that time, President Casper said that our university, yours and mine, is a wonderful, varied institution. What the next four years would be like. I suspect that many of us today have a similar sense of apprehension and melancholy as we embrace our commencement and charge forward with our newfound or sustained passion. No doubt, as a class, we have witnessed one of the most fascinating rates of change these past few years. And now, with the world changing before our very eyes, we seem to be sin pair and media ray, always in the middle of things. It touches intimately both social and ethical areas as well. We have learned that wise innovation does not materialize from genius alone, but from genius put into action. And putting great ideas into action is not about all the brains that one might have. We toured Superhighway. The day before, some of these same indignant faces holding signs of protest had been sitting with me in front of the Board of the Health Post in Mapuche, talking about pregnancy and politics, explaining to me why birth defects are not caused just by biology but by changes in the Mexican, Mexican Constitution, by NAFTA, by government corruption, and by deeply entrenched societal norms that marginalize indigenous women. This conversation took place during a workshop in which I asked participants to trace health problems in their community back to their social, economic, and political causes by asking why they think the problem exists. Once a causal link was posited, I would again ask why, until a whole, link, a whole chain of causes unfolded. When the chain of causes is completed and laid out for everyone to look at, the question changes from why to how. How can we use our minds, our leverage, our collective energy to cut this chain so the outcome doesn't occur? In my research, other and those younger than us, how to be civically engaged, responsible members of a functioning democracy, or it will simply cease to function. Constantly questioning the status quo and seeking truthful answers may seem radical to some, but the concept is a challenge. And our challenge is this. But let me first put out the mantra of a friend and fellow from biograduate, Mr. Levener, that when we identify behaviors or situations that are harmful or detrimental in some way, we have two choices, accept or change. When it comes to the behaviors of us as individuals, as this nation, a democracy, as a global community, 
that allows over 800 million people to be starving right now, while we rock in fields of American agribusiness giants subsidized by our tax dollars, that allows one in seven Americans to go without health insurance, that watches as HIV ravages an entire continent, staring on in disbelief. I have faith that we must and we will choose change. Perhaps the most important lesson I may take from my undergraduate education is that I do not have the world figured out and I will be melting out there in the midday sun. This is a program, this is a university that draws the best students in the nation. This is a program that draws the best students of the university. The graduates that you're going to acknowledge today are the creme de la creme of the youth in this country. We want to acknowledge in human biology how wonderful our students are. I will tell you a secret that perhaps the students don't know, that we, the faculty, depend on these students to revitalize us, to energize us, this, the faculty and the staff. Edward, where 
the third graduation session for Sonal Rana. engaged, most creative, and most interesting at Stanford. Our program has been cited as having the largest and most dedicated resource faculty of any interdepartmental program at Stanford. And this is not simply because there are so many faculty engaged in feminist scholarship. It's also because there are so many faculty who want to work with feminist studies students. They're simply qualitatively different. Now, Unlike, though, many of the other academically student, excellent students at Stanford, feminist studies students do not separate their academic work from their participation in the world around them. All of our students are deeply committed to the cause of human rights, to personal responsibility, to community service. Many of them have engaged in their intention and the promise of making a difference in the world, and each of them is doing it differently. Now, you'll also agree that our students are all courageous and firm in their convictions. It isn't easy to tell your friends and family that you're going to major or minor in feminist studies. For every one of the people in front of you, there's at least one other who would have liked to major in feminist studies but didn't have the nerve. <laughs> because, of course, the name feminist studies raises the specter of every sad stereotype, but we keep the name for a reason. Feminism doesn't just name the subject matter of the major. It names an approach to intellectual issues. It transcends disciplinary boundaries, and it transcends the boundaries between theory and practice, striving to integrate our learning with our actions in the world and vice versa. All of our students begin by taking Rather than focusing on English literature, biology, or economics, our students focus on issues across disciplines. One student might examine women's health from a medical, biological, economic, political, and social perspective. Another might examine gender and pockets by moving among law, the social sciences, history, and philosophy. By using and helping sex workers, working with two organizations with very different philosophies, but similar to Ruth Murray from Human Biology. Emily Carruthers is graduating with a major in feminist studies, and she has funny glasses. We're waiting now, we aren't losing him yet, since he'll be returning next year for a co-term MA in the Department of Cultural and Social Anthropology. Please join me in congratulating her. She's a very nice person. <laughs> She's graduating with a major in feminist studies. Julie came to Stanford wanting to study sharks, but discovered that she hated chemistry. And we got a lot of stories like that. And she soon recovered as she found her intellectual niche when she took feminist studies one on one. still young and immortal. Oh, and wear comfortable shoes. <laughs> During her oh my goodness, is Janelle Ishida. <laughs> I did it again. Lillian Ho's advisor is Susan Oven from the Department of Political Science. And Janelle's advisor is Sylvia Yanagisako from the Department of Cultural and, and Social Anthropology. She took off a year between her junior and senior years to work for Californians for Justice an organization concerned with educational justice in the Bay Area. Upon graduation, she'll once again full, for, work full-time for this organization. While at Stanford, she also worked at the LGBT Community Resource Center, was a manager at the Cullum Bay Co-op back here, inspiring event. Meredith is the winner of the Lions Award for Service and the coveted Dinkelspiel Award given this year to six people selected from among the faculty, staff, and student body of Stanford for distinctive contributions to undergraduate education. Oh, no. You sing over there. Another modest person. Sonal Rana is graduating with a major in human biology and a secondary major in feminist studies. Sonal has a very strong commitment to the welfare of adolescent girls. Since she was a sophomore, she has been a mentor for eighth grade girls at East Palo Alto. 
and this year she's been director of that mentorship program. She's also been an RA for a Frosch dorm, where she pointed out to me that she's actually watched a lot of the issues of empowerment that, she, that concerned her in EPA, or in East Palo Alto, played out once again among Stanford's undergraduates. Next fall, Sonal will start medical school at University of California in San Francisco, and she thinks she might follow a specialization that allows her to continue uh, and to work in teen girls' health. Please join me in congratulating <laughs> And Sonal's advisor in the major is Anne Firth Murray from the Department of Human, the program in human biology. Virginia's advisor is Pamela Lee from, Lee from Art History. Virginia is graduating with a double major in feminist studies and studio art. She transferred here from the University of Maryland and has a great appreciation for the way in which Stanford has encouraged freedom of thought and made it possible for her to follow her interests. ...of the John Shipley Fowler Award for Photography from the studio department. Eager to pursue her career in photography, Virginia has already moved to San Francisco and is starting out with an internship in Photo Alliance and at Stanford. She's been a member of the a cappella group Counterpoint and she directed Counterpoint for two years. She's also a member of Stanford's Chamber Chorale and this July, she'll be touring the United Kingdom with the Corral. When she returns, she intends to begin work with a non-governmental organization involved in women's issues. Now, if where you'll be able to hear the Chamber Corral. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating <laughs> Minor and Honors in Feminist Studies. Molly's thesis won the Rosaldo Prize for Best Social Science Thesis on Women, Gender, and Home has been the Bridge Peer Counseling Center, which is just across the way. <laughs> Um, where she's been part of a very warm community of students helping other students. Uh, she'll be working at the bridge this summer and doing research for Amanda Jones on a book on rights from a global perspective. Please join me in congratulating Bonnie Town. Bonnie Town. <laughs> Sherry Taylor, representative on the university's committee for investment responsibility. That's a biggie. Elisa spent six months of her junior year at the University of Buenos Aires, where she worked for a human rights organization organizing gender workshops. Um, okay, I'm here to present the senior gift. Um, this has been a challenging year for feminist studies, and the director of our program, Penny, um, has successfully steered us through the interdepartmental review process and the senior class wanted to offer her a token of our admiration and appreciation. <laughs> Given that she's an avid gardener, we've inscribed this fierce instrument with Penny Ecker, our fearless leader, program of feminist studies. <laughs> For your own good and the good of others. 
to remember, as Ralph Emerson said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Second, live your feminisms. In the words of visionary feminist Bell Hooks, radical visionary feminism encourages all of us to courageously examine our lives from the standpoint of gender, race, and class so that we can accurately understand our position within the imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist patriarchy. <laughs> I pulled it off, huh? I pulled it off. I didn't even stutter. We must courageously learn from the past and work for a future where feminist principles will undergird every aspect of our public and private lives. Feminist politics aims to end domination, to free us to be who we are, to live lives where we love just visions, hopes for the future, and the meaning of feminism in your lives. Your reflections are far more inspiring than anything I could say to you today. So I'm going to revisit your life plans one more time. Oh no. <laughs> Here are the inspiring words of some members of the Feminist Studies graduating class of 2003. Forgive me for not quoting every one of you. I think we want to end here before sunset. <laughs> Emily emphasizes values we can all live by. She says, my first value is trying to live compassionately. Another one of my values is to live my feminisms. To me, this means acknowledging and trying to change sexism in myself and in others, envisioning and working for a compassionate, peaceful, just world. I think I will be living my feminism if I keep my mind open and never remain passive when I witness oppression. I want to be an activist by seeking ways to better access health, education, and resources. And it might not be on a grand scale, but as long as I am helping somebody some way, I will be happy. Elisa, reiterate doors to feminist studies are always open to you. The program, and most importantly, the future cohorts of Fem Study students need you. In conclusion, join me in repeating our three power thoughts. Our mantras, if you will. <laughs> Ready? One, we're discovering those inner treasures. <laughs> Two, we're living our feminisms. We're doing great things for the world. We're doing great things for the world. Yeah. You see how great they are? <laughs> I wish for you all incredibly joyful, inspired, thoughtful, fulfilling, and feminist lives. Hula. Hula. All right. Happy graduate! Thank you! 
Thank you guys for the rain. I was okay. crying this morning because I thought I was okay. so lucky to be in my family. Hello, Dad. Show me your ten. Okay, I uh, don't got ten. I got bird. Bird, I got. Okay. Okay. Can I see your water for Okay, I'm in the water. Okay. Right in San Francisco. Okay. Hey, Sunny. I mean, uh, Bully and other girl. What is that? Ah. Look at What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Sudha P. Vakar Raisa Pacho, also long. I don't have to be clear. The one that you just heard is not an emergency. I repeat, this is not an emergency. Oh. Sedin ras pine cha, sedin ras pine cha. Okay, chal to se ho. Baat karna kita aavi che, aur Rohit bhai aavi che. Sedin aur juice piwa. Aur Raju bhai na, Nano bhai, Nano bhai ya na. Aur Lata bhai na aegya che ya. Aur evali Modi bhabi ne, aur Rohit puto panai je. Tamne bhoi shaaru lagya je. Aur Smita bhoi dhyan thi, sedin aur juice na joy rahi che. सुनिता गुड मॉर्निंग हाय बोलो हां होली केयर प्रोजेक्ट है आर्टिन और रजिस्टर जन थाई गए उसे हाँ दिल्ली पे जोड़ रहे हैं फिर आर्टिन और पेलू थाई गए उसे तो तुम्हारे वो लोग थाई गए हैं दिल्ली पे हाय वेरी बिजी लेडीज बराबर कैम्प चो बाबी पक्के लगे हैं करूं पढ़े में इतना नहीं तो चार आज तो हमने बरोड़ा ने टिया पड़ी कैसे चंपल ने बहुत बिक लागे थे। ओराइट बहिन वाला संभार मानेक चौक चौपाटी Ajit Bhai, Ajit Bhai, Kothari Sahib. Very good. Salas, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bo, 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 हाँ आधे ने बराबर हाँ तो लाउट पड़े ने क्या मचो बोलो बोलो बात करो खाओ खावा ने बात करो थी खावा ही साथ है खावा तो खावा है हाँ बात कर तो रे बात चालू रख बात चालू रख शेरटन डाउनटाउन Downtown Center Saraton Hotel Downtown of Cleveland
પગ સારા લાગે આમ કરે છે ખરાબ દેખાય લોકો આવતા જતા લોકો ને પાછું ખરાબ લાગે ખરીદી શરૂ થઈ ગઈ છે This is our the soul. Uh, right. Hi Janet. Good luck to good nice meeting you. Okay. Ha ha. Good. Good. Mara barabar che. Good. Okay. Pati nabi do pati nabi. Exhibit centers just open. બોલી રહ્યા છે બોલો હા લેખાય છે મારે ગર્વ છે
Ronaldo. Dhaneshwari Chee, Arun Varun Bhai Chee. Focus. Chikila Barabar Chee. Yes. Kem cho bech, Gita Patwani bech kem che, Gita Patwani bech kem che, Marabar se Marabar se, Marabar se, Marabar se, Hey Rohit bachcho, Rohit bachcho, 
Bacu, bacu. Abi Jorohi. Abi Jorohi. Good. Kaka. Sobna kore sodi rahi chhe. Lasani aao na. Kale aao chhe. Na na na. Bara bara, bara bara, bara bara, bara bara. Aam pada, aam saara aave. Hey. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, Hi. Hi. Hi.